Welcome to Connect to Florida. In today's video, we are gonna move through this pretty quickly because we have a lot of details to get to. So we are gonna be talking about best markets to invest in in Florida, according to who? According to who? All right, so this is according to Yahoo News and how they've analyzed the data and they've come up with some data like median prices, walkability of the little cities. We're gonna be talking about cities in Florida, rental prices. We're gonna talk about facts, including the median price of the homes. So you can determine are any of these markets places that you would wanna invest your money in. So before we jump into that, I just want to say hello. My name is Barrett Pastor, and I've been a real estate broker for over 25 years. So hopefully I'm coming to you from a place of knowledge and experience, and I can help you navigate through all things Florida real estate related. Now, like I said, we're going to move through these pretty quickly, and I'm going to give you just a little bit of my impression, because on this channel, we talk honestly. Yes, I am a real estate broker, but listen. I don't come on here and lie. Facts are facts. And my point in this channel is always to educate you because the way that I view something may not be the way you view it. So it's all about education. You might say, okay, yeah, I hear you. Those things all sound like they might be pretty bad, but in my world, it works for me. Same thing happens when I tell you a bunch of things that are good. It might not work in your world. So we only deal with facts here. All right, so I'm going to turn this way because I've got this right in front of me and we're going to move through these. So number one, and these are in no particular order. So these are just the top 20 according to them. Vero Beach. Now I'm first off going to tell you that among the Florida world of beachgoers, a lot of people call that zero beach because they say there's zero to do there. So I don't know. If you've ever been there, let me know down in comments what you think. But Vero Beach, median property price, $734,000. I'm not going to give you the change, but $734,000. That's a lot. Days on market, 94. That's not bad. The monthly rent on an annual is averaging about $2,600. So what do we think about that? I mean, that's expensive. That's a little tiny beach town. That is, that's pretty darn expensive. And unless you just kind of want to go to the beach and do nothing else, I would agree. You're going to have to drive out of that area to find anything to do. But like I said, that totally, that's a good example of something that you might say, yeah, I'm all in. Works for me. Number two, which is the area that, that I work predominantly, Naples. Ready for this one? What do you think the median property price is in Naples? Get ready to fall out of your chair. The median, $992,000. My gosh, I can remember when that was so much lower and not in that distant of a, of a past. Less than five years ago, that was half of that. Wow. Days on market on average, 88. That's, that, I would agree, that's pretty good. I see that often. Monthly rent on an annual $3,986, so almost $4,000 on a monthly rent. So you know where the problem comes in? I talk about this on my channel a lot. Naples has an Achilles heel, and it's called workforce because there's that kind of wealth. If the average rental for an annual, which is what all your workers are going to need, how can you live like that? Waitresses, cooks, chefs, mechanics, hairdressers. How can you live like, there's no way you could afford right under $4,000 a month. You just, you could not do it. So that's the Achilles heel to Naples. The workforce is a big problem there. Okay. The next one, North Miami, median property price, $771,000. The annual rental is averaging right under $3,200. $100 days on market 60. Um, Miami is one of those markets that depending on where you are in Miami, you've either got extreme wealth or you have the opposite end of it. So I would say at least with Miami, you're in a big enough city that you don't have as much of a workforce problem as much. But I mean, they still have those issues there as well. Lantana. I'm going to tell you what, I'm not 100% sure where that is. We're going to find that. I'm going to put a map up for you. But Lantana, wherever that is, Lantana, I'm not sure how you say that, $903,000. So it's expensive. 
average uh, rental $2,600. So that's a little out of bounds. That's, that's different. You would expect to see it a little bit higher. Average days on market is 112. I'm going to guess that's a little island somewhere. I could be wrong. By now I would know in the video, but I'm not looking at that yet. Um, next one, Tampa. Median property price, 594000 So we're doing a little better there. Days on market, 95 Average rental, $1,600. So we're a little more in range there. Now, $1,600, you can probably live. You can probably make that work if you're a nurse, a mechanic. A lot of hairdressers make good money. So that that's a little bit stronger, I would say, for somebody that's looking for a long-term buy and hold. Punta Gorda, that's a market that I work pretty often as well. Medium property price, 647000 Days on market, 107 Rental, $2,700. So Punta Gorda really only has one little claim to fame with shopping, and it's called Fisherman's Village. It's really cute. Now, I did hear they were trying to turn it into condos, which would be really sad. But Punta Gorda is kind of a sleepy town as well. They do have a small airport that... There are some bigger jets that fly into, but it is a little bit of a sleepy town as well, but it is about a half hour away at most, 20, 30 minutes from downtown Fort Myers, so it does give you a little bit more to do. Number seven, Melbourne. Medium property price, $481,000. Days on market, 77. Rental, 2000 That's not bad. Melbourne is also a place that I think is a little bit of a sleepy town, but it is close to other places on the East Coast. Pompano Beach, median price is $729,000, days on market $72,000, and rental average is $28,79. Pompano Beach, in my opinion, because it's close to West Palm, which is our next one, they don't have as much of that Achilles heel, that problem with workforce there as well. So anytime the rent, their rent is high though at $2,800, so that creates a bit of an issue there. West Palm Beach, beautiful, beautiful West Palm, $712,000, 79 days on market, on average $2,800 in terms of rent. I feel like West Palm is a strong um, rental investment. I really do. Of course, 700000 is up there, but we're seeing good buys along the coast, so that's one to consider. And then lastly, we have Miami. Now, Miami is one of those places that I would say, again, it depends on what they're calling Miami. Are they talking about downtown Miami? Where are they talking about here? But they're telling us a median property price of 810000 If we're talking about downtown Miami, it's definitely higher than that. So again, not sure exactly where they're talking about. 80 days on market on average, and the rental amounts on annual is 3200 This one, I would really need to know where they're talking about before I would say I agree or I disagree with this. So, you know, to me, as I look through this, if you have really big, strong money, Naples is always one of those that bounces back quickly. You know, recently here, in analyzing Naples, because like I said, I do work Southwest Florida. I work the coast that runs from Sarasota, which I was surprised Sarasota did not make the list here, according to Yahoo. But I work from Sarasota down to Naples. So that is the area that's my area of expertise. And I would normally advise people to spend their money in Naples because it's usually a can't miss. But lately, it's so expensive. The rules have gotten so strict that I've been studying other areas. And for me, right now, getting within 20, 30 minutes of Naples proper, and by that I mean downtown Naples, I feel like your better bet is getting just outside of that area because your price is going to be a little bit lower. And most people don't mind getting in the car to drive 15 or 20 minutes to the beach because what they don't realize is that if you can walk a mile in your home state, let's let's say you live in, I don't know, you live in Ohio. You might be able to walk a mile in Ohio, but walking a mile in the Florida heat while you're pulling, you know, your little red wagon with your cooler and your umbrella and your beach chairs, it listen, it's oppressive. And that's a rough, that's a rough thing to do. So I always tell people, get in your air conditioned car. Drive it. Our parking is usually pretty good at the beaches in our area. So anyway, those are the things to think about. Right now, I would say money better spent in Naples is a little bit outside of the area. 
So if you have an interest in knowing a little bit more about all this, if you were thinking about buying in Florida, I am more than happy to help you anywhere in the state of Florida. And if you need a referral outside of the state of Florida, I can do that as well. I vet agents free of charge to you. Happy to do that. My contact information.